What's up, my G's? Welcome to another episode of Another Angle with Tifa Hassan. You know, the host of the most. Today, we're speaking on another very interesting, well, yet so tricky conversation. We're talking about income, and do you think that partners should disclose their income to each other? And mind you, we're not just talking only about marital partners, we're talking also relationship partners. Because I know some people's relationships do be like they're married sometimes. So where do you stand on this? Do you think that partners should be disclosing their income to their partners? Basically, to each other. <laughs> of course, as usual, we have four amazing guests with us in the studio today. We'll be giving us their opinion, sharing what they think about this conversation. We have Umsute. Hey guys, my name is Umsute Tanongo. I'm a content creator and an entrepreneur. We have Sarah. Hi, my name is Sarah. I like to be called Big Sarah. I'm a presenter on radio and TV. Max FM and TVC Communications. We have Oge. Hi, my name is Oge. I'm a filmmaker and an entrepreneur. And we have Fire. Hello guys, my name is Fire. I'm a fashion stylist. These four amazing individuals will be giving us insight as to if they think that partners should be disclosing their income with each other. But first, let's go on a break and we'll be right back. Alright guys, welcome back to another angle with Tifa Hassan. Like I said earlier, I've got four amazing guests in the studio with us. We'll be talking about incomes. Should you be disclosing your income to your partner or should you not? Is there a line? Is that where boundaries come to play? Never know until we get into the conversation. But first, let's take a look at this social media post that may state that it's not smart or it is smart to disclose your income to your partner. Like this one. Let's get into it. What do you think, guys? Speak to me, Farah. Okay, Sarah, tell me. What do you think should partners disclose their income to each other? Nay or nay? Yeah, I think partners should disclose their incomes. I think it's something very important, especially if you're getting into a relationship or if you're getting married. Partners that are dating, no, hell no. Hell no. For what? Why? That's the question. Why? I'm all for honesty and openness, but when it comes to money, I disagree. No, I don't think they should. Why? Why? Why does your boyfriend or your girlfriend have to know how much you're earning or how much you make? Nah. No. No. Because it's going to cause problems, and I am talking from a place of experience. If you're married, okay, but if you're dating, except if you see yourself being very serious or you feel like whatever you have is going to that limit you could maybe after the will you marry me and, and the i will then yeah but like when you're still dating come on it's called dating for a reason to be giving husband and wife benefits to somebody you're just dating so why should they know that's a strong no from Oge. no they shouldn't there are things that they should. I mean, it's a relationship, isn't it? So, how about you disclose your income to each other? And Sarah is saying, and I agree with this, do not give husband or wife privilege to boyfriend or girlfriend. I agree with that one. I agree with that one. Well, guys, tell me, how would you feel, in light of everything you said, how would you feel if your partner should ask for your income? It depends on the stage of the relationship. So, if we're just starting, that's, that's the red flag. But if it's getting more serious, then yeah. I'll be open to it. Why? There has to be a reason. And him saying, I just want to know, doesn't cut it. No. What, what are you asking me for? Like, if he gives me a reason and it's a valid reason, yeah, maybe I'll tell him. But if not, like, what do you need that information for? Same way I wouldn't ask you how much you're earning 
Why do you want to ask me? I feel like he has a right to. He should, but I'm going to Elisha. I'm going to lie to him. Sorry, but it's an information that I don't think that a boyfriend needs. So, except if he's willing to step up to become a husband, and now we're planning our future together. But if it's just for the sake of knowing, just because, hell no, why? Nah. <laughs> if we're dating, I don't mind. But if it's a situation where he's asking me and he's not ready to disclose his, then we're gonna have a problem. Hello? <laughs> With a good enough reason, she would disclose it. And I just want to know it's not a good enough reason. And I think I agree with that, especially if we're just in a relationship, you know, phase. I just want to know. I don't know about that. And okay, he's saying, even though she's going to lie, even if she tells them, she's going to lie about it. She's not going to tell the truth. I don't really get why, but I mean, it's her opinion. I think she must definitely have her reasons for saying so. And this is saying, if you're sharing, I'm sharing. If I'm sharing, you're definitely sharing. And if you're not sharing, <laughs> I beg, it's a two-way street. A relationship is a two-way street. So if you're not sharing and you want me to share, I'm going to do it because that's shady as. But do you think this is one of those things where boundaries come to play? Like, okay, respect my boundaries. I respect your boundaries. Do you think this is one of those things where there should be like a fine line? It's definitely one of the things where boundaries come to play. If you're in a relationship, you have to know that boundaries are going to be crossed. You just have to maybe communicate more to let her know your stance. Uh, well, I agree. But I, okay, the reason why I feel like you shouldn't disclose your earnings to your partner is because money has this spirit. Like, something, it will shock us problem. That's the problem. It will cause problem. You're in a relationship, hello. So I feel like you should be ready to be like know what this person is up to like know what you know you should just it's a relationship okay it's all for boundaries of course she is she has said no 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 you shouldn't be discussing your earnings <laughs> to your partner so definitely she's all for boundaries my mom to say sweet baby girl she's all for laying all your cards down it is a relationship for a reason. I mean, if you can't be vulnerable in every sense of the word vulnerable with someone who you claim is your partner, why be in a relationship with that person in the first place? And I think that kind of makes sense to me if you ask. So moving on to all our other questions, at what point? Because, I mean, there has to be a point now where you share your earnings with your partner, so that's the plan, right? At what point in the relationship do you think it's wise to share your earnings with your partner? Or is there no point at all? And that's fair enough, I think there's no point there. I still insist, don't disclose. When we know that there's a future together, when we know that there's no other person hiding behind the cupboard, <laughs> there's no skeletons behind the cupboard, whereby we're both open to each other based on everything, family and every other thing. If I see that relationship getting like really serious, not the one that were like four months, three months, and you're already asking me, brother, what's going on? What do you want to know? Like Mr. Izzy will say, legalize. <laughs> when it's about to be legal, that's the only way. That's when you guys have to plan your future together. Okay, babe, I make this, I make this. This is how we're going to live. This is where we're going to live. This is how much we're going to earn or how much we're going to save for this. How many kids we're going to have based on the kind of income we have. That's when the conversation is a bit serious. I mean, it has already gotten to the stage of building a home together. But when we're still having fun, just getting to know ourselves. What do you need that for? No. Okay, with marriage, I, ha I haven't been married, so I don't know how it works. I don't, I don't know how it would work, but I think that, um, say, when the first child comes, or maybe after two years or three years, you know, they become friends and bodies like into each other. You can now do. Um, I've seen you finish, then it's closed. Ah, no, that one too is... I don't think there should be any... I don't think, I don't think... Because it's going to cause problems. Omar, whoever wants to get, I'm coming for you. I see you and I'm coming for you. My G said no. 
maybe after two or three kids then yeah you can't be disclosing your earnings to your partner because and like i said earlier she definitely has her reasons because obviously money has a funny way according to her of making people fall out like i said earlier she definitely has her reasons and they're valid her reasons are valid why fire and taste sweet people i love their relationship i mean i love how they perceive relationship i'm not going to lie they're like when you're about to get married and i think that's very valid because this is somebody you want to plan a life with i think planning our earnings especially if earning and you know contributing to the house is a two-way street except it's a one-way street and that's different if it's a two-way street of course you have to disclose your earnings that way it makes it easier to plan for your future for your kids whatever you know whatever you want to comment on in future you get me so i think at that point of marriage it's definitely important to disclose your earnings but yes guys if you're going to be disclosing your earnings do you think there should be some guidelines what are what are some do's or don'ts in disclosing your earnings to your partners like what are the guidelines what are your guidelines to disclosing your earnings to your partner every relationship is different it's all about how you relate and how serious the relationship is you have to be ready to tell me uh, if you're not ready then don't ask me. Definitely, I'm not going to spill how much I earn if you're not going to tell me how much you earn as well. I'm a sharer by nature. But when it comes to money, I find it hard to share. Now, this is not because I'm stingy or anything. It's just because I feel like people um, know how to cross boundaries. Like, they don't have boundaries. Or maybe there's another rule of make sure you don't tell anyone else. Don't go telling your brother or your sister or your best friend or your mother or your father if we're just going to keep it between ourselves i wouldn't tell anyone how much you're earning same way you shouldn't tell anyone how much i'm earning the reason why i feel like people shouldn't share is because there are some people that would start to feel entitled i once had a partner that you know um i disclosed how much i made from a particular gig i had and he was all up like expecting she understand. <laughs> it was very expert and it's like, oh, okay, like when we go up, like, oh, maybe expecting to pay for this, expecting to pay for that. And I'm like, is it because of this small money I just collect? Sarah made a very strong one because people are very funny. If I'm discussing my earning to you as my partner, I don't want to hear my earning from your brother or your sister or from your money. I'll be your mommy and your daddy. I'm disclosing it to you, my partner. I'm not disclosing it to your family member because also people are funny once again. If I disclose my earnings to you as my partner, then you want to tell your mommy or your daddy or your brother or your sister that they are coming to me for their problems. I have my family too. But the crazy thing is that they would not think about that. In their mind, you're earning enough. So why can't you take care of us? Why can't you come through for us? Forgetting that you also have problems of your own because that's it. People are generally selfish. Well, let's hear from the guests. In conclusion, what is your angle on sharing your earnings with your partner? Hi, my name is Fire. No one should pressure you into doing what you don't want to do. And then even when you disclose, no one should manipulate you to spend your money in a way you don't want to. Just do you. Hi, my name is Sarah. Don't do it. It's nah, it's not worth it. It's not necessary, except you and the guy are about to be serious. And by serious, I mean about to be married, not serious in another phase of dating. My name is Musate Tanongo. It's okay to share whatever, but you should be ready to let me know yours. Sharing is caring. So my name is Oge. You should not disclose your earnings <laughs> to your partner. <laughs> Like I said at the beginning of this conversation, tricky, tricky conversation. Tricky yet so interesting. And these conversations have to be had. That's what another angle is for. To have the tricky conversations, the interesting one, the not so interesting ones, but they still have to be had. You know, that's what we do on another angle. If there's any conversation you want me to have, make sure to send it to my DM at dtfa underscore Hassan on Instagram. It's gonna show somewhere here. And stay tuned to DSTV channel 189. That's what we do, bring you the freshest, hottest, conversations and you know so stay tuned stay strapped and stay jiggy